this is Tim. Today we're going to go through several different ways to program a start stop for a motor and why you might want to use one over the other depending on your application. We're going to start with a new program and we'll just call it start and we're using a Micrologix 1100 Series B. Also, we are using our basic trainer and it is wired for our start stop exercise. You can find a link to it in the description. And since our PLC is already set up, we're going to go to channel configuration and change our channel one configuration to 192, 168, 110. But now we're going to lay out some different ways to do a start stop. And the first one is the basic ceiling that we did in a previous video. Green button is wired to I colon zero backslash zero. And we'll just call that the green button. And then we're going to turn on our green light with this representing our first motor. So O colon zero backslash zero is wired to our green light. And we'll just call that the green light just so we understand which one's which. Then we're going to add a branch. And this is going to be an XIC of I colon zero backslash two. Now this is wired to our red button normally closed. And then we're going to add another XIC instruction of the green light. So this is our basic seal instruction. Now, if I'm going too fast for some of you, they said look in our previous videos because we have a good explanation on all of this. Now we're going to copy this very wrong and paste it because wired to input one is our red button normally open. We're going to do an XIO of that one. Then we're going to use the yellow light, which is wired to output one. Now we're going to paste that rung zero again, because we're just going to make a minor change to it that often you see. This is another very popular way of doing a start stop. So on this one, we're going to use our red light, which is wired to output two. Red light. And then finally, we're going to do one that's completely different. We're going to use the latch and the unlatch. So we will look at, we'll do an XIC of our green button, which is I colon zero backslash zero. And we're going to latch our blue light, which is wired to O colon zero backslash three blue light. And then we will again look at our red button, which is I colon zero backslash one. We're going to use the normally open contact of it. And we will unlatch O colon zero backslash three. All right, so now we're ready to download it. I know we went through that fast one. I will have a link to this program in the description. Also, we have instructions on how to download your program, actually how to download RS Logics, how to install it, how to create programs, download programs, all those good things. You can find all of that in the description. So now we're online. We have our four different start stop methods. And on the surface, they work exactly the same. You hit the start button, they all come on. You hit the stop button, they all go off. But there are a few differences in the methods that you need to be aware of. Uh, mainly, if you hold the stop button in and then you hit the start button, rung zero and rung one will turn the motor on. Now, that could be a danger depending on your situation, but also this is a very important maintenance feature. It lets them bump the motor very easily. And let me tell you, if you don't give a maintenance person a way to bump a motor, then they're going to be jabbing a screwdriver into the terminals, which can be a lot more dangerous situation than the stop button. But another thing that I hear a lot of people say is about the safety feature of a normally closed stop button. So if I take the wire, as you can see on our back side here, if we were to have a wire break on this normally closed stop button, then you can see rung zero and rung three both turn off. 
Now if I do the same thing with our normally open stop, which is what rung one and rung three are using, then they stay on. And now I hit the stop button all day long, you're not gonna be able to stop these two. Now whether that presents a safety issue or not, is gonna be dependent on your application. But it's very important that you're aware of the difference between the normally open and the normally closed stop button. Now there is one other situation that you need to be aware of, of how these buttons actually operate. And that is during a power cycle. So I'm gonna turn the power off to our trainer. And now I'm gonna turn it back on. And you can see on power up, the green, yellow, and red buttons, which are associated with rung zero, one, and two, do not turn back on. But the blue light that is associated with rung three does turn back on. And we're going to go into the details of that in the next video. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, PLC trainers, and more.